see you. I don't know who it is. I don't recognize them. Just... Probably a neighbor. I don't know. Do you know them? I don't know. Wait a minute. They're coming. I thought they were coming. Right? Probably the neighbor we saw down the street said she was just coming over. Why? Hi, Timmy. Oh my God! Oh my goodness! Someone can I hug you? Oh my God! Happy? Luna, come here, baby. Hi. How are you? With Megan, right? Yes. Come here. Oh, oh, cute. Oh, Tim, look at this. This is what we should have bought in the first place. Yeah, she's just doing. All the videos. Hey, Lana. Your hair is cute. Thank you. I told him he had something in his hair. <laughs> We're trying to surprise. That was in June of 2018. That is the first time I met the lovely Christina slash Elena Kushka. And that was so many years ago. And after that, we really started to hit it off. We became good friends, and we talked a lot. Many years later, things started to change between me and her. But she came, we, she came back to visit me one last time in May of 2022. And it was the last time that I would get to see her again. And she was still on social media after that day, but a month later, she left social media, and she left social media. Um, I was, at first, a little bit upset. I was really sad that she left, and my heart at the time, was broken. But, like they say, time heals all wounds. And time, as time goes by, we forgive and we forget. I realize that life is too short to resent somebody. Life is too short to hold on to the anger, to hold on to the hate. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to hang on to the anger and the resentment anymore. So I told myself, life is too short, and we truly do not know what is going on in someone else's life. And I'm not going to be upset anymore, because, you know what, she wanted to, to find herself. She wanted to find a better life for herself. And I can't be mad at her for that. In fact, I am happy for her. That she's finding time for herself. Finding time to branch out and find herself again. I, will, I am truly grateful for the memories me and her had together. I'm truly grateful that I get to, got to meet her and got to know her. Got to know the real her. And I'm happy that she came to see me. And I hang on to those memories and 
You know, she gave me so many great memories. And I'm truly grateful for those memories she gave me. I'm not upset anymore. I don't resent her for what she did. Because everyone in their lives deserves a better life. And I'm truly happy for her. Happy that she found, found herself. Happy that she's living her best life. And I just want to say happy birthday, Christina slash Elena Koshka. I, I will always keep you in my heart. And I will always keep the memories we had in my heart as well. I truly wish that you are. I truly wish that you are living your best life, and I hope that you continue to stay happy and healthy, no matter what you what you did, what you left. I'm not angry anymore. I don't resent you, and I hold no bad feelings towards you. Thank you for being such a being, being a friend to me, and thank you for reaching, reaching out to me. I truly, in, in from the from the bottom of my heart, I truly wish you the best. I truly wish you the best, and I'm grateful for the moments that we spent together. Thank you for that, and thank you for all the wonderful memories you gave me. I hope your birthday is truly a good one, and I hope it's filled with lots of positive, positive. I hope it's filled with lots of positivity and happiness. Happiest of birthdays to you. old friends.